Fuck it. <laughs> I think I've made a grave error tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Good news. Optimists, so I don't. <laughs> the good news is I'm not married. <laughs> the bad news is I talked up a speed dating tonight. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. I was hoping to meet the man whose finger I could put in his ring. <laughs> I'm clinically depressed. Not manic though, so it's just the lows for me. <laughs> I wear this to cheer myself up every day. It's a little bit quirky, isn't it? It's a little bit Sarah Jessica Parker, isn't it? <laughs> She's got a perfume out, hasn't she? Lovely, it's called. I think if I was famous, I'd release a smell. <laughs> I'd call it, what would I call it now, wait? Spinster. <laughs> I'm Mary Magdalene. Actually, I don't like the word spinster. It's a little bit creepy, isn't it? A little bit cobwebby now. Bachelor is a much nicer word, much warmer, friendlier. You've got your bachelor soup there. <laughs> and it rhymes with spatula, which is a perfectly harmless, yet useful kitchen utensil, isn't it? <laughs> I'm 39. <gasps> I live with my elderly mother. <laughs> I've been single so long now that when I get invited to do's, it doesn't say Mary plus one anymore. <laughs> It says Mary plus mum. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's good company though. She does get a bit confused. Last week she's convinced that Osama bin Laden is running America. <laughs> and she won't go near IKEA. I said to her, IKEA are doing the war on the furniture. Al Qaeda is the war on the terror. <laughs> I do like a good film. Not that runaway bride, though. She had no business wearing white, that woman. She's a former prostitute. And he fucking knew that. He hired her in the first film. <laughs> I got Bride's Head revisited for Christmas. I won't be watching it. I've not seen the first one. <laughs> I joined a gym at the weekend. I signed up for one of them there spinning classes. When I got there, the room was full of bikes. You can't have a good spin in a room full of bikes. <laughs> it come to harm. I do like a board game though. <laughs> Not elitist ones like Cluedo. They should do a more realistic version, shouldn't they? Where you could say, was it Scott the schoolboy in the playground with a machine gun? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I fucking hate. All this being green shite. You never convince a depressive that saving the world's a good thing. <laughs> I went around my friends the other day, she's got energy fucking saving light bulbs. I was busting for a way, so I ran up the stairs, flicked the switch, had a way, and a surprising yet satisfying shit. <laughs> Flushed the toilet. <laughs> Washed my hands, dried my hands, and just as I went to flick the switch off, it blinked and yarned into action, <laughs> giving off less light than a Parkinson's sufferer with a box of matches. <laughs> My father died when I was 12. Accidental boredom. <laughs> My mother never forgave herself. I remember sitting on his knee and he taught me all the nursery rhymes, you know. Like hickory dickory dock, your hand runs up my cock, my cock strikes one and out comes come, hickory dickory dock. <laughs> And then there was Mary, Mary, weird and scary. Has your lady garden grown? 
And I'm sure you all remember three, three blind drunks. <laughs> I do like a song, though, especially the James Blunt. I think every lady, whether she admits it or not, gets her James Blunt out in times of distress. <laughs> I've written a little song. It's my favourite tune, The Wedding March. It's called, I'd like a man, but I'm not desperate. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I like some cock. I want some cock. I need some cock, ever such a lot. Big, small or wide. I really don't mind. Hairy, bald or curved to one side. I long to be taken up the aisle whilst all my family stare and smile. My knees trembling, my heart beating fast, his hands firmly gripping on my arse. <laughs> On a wedding night, he'd finally say three little words that take my breath away. <laughs> we all know what those three little words are now, don't we, ladies, that we long to have whispered in our ear. Suck, don't blow. <laughs> Suck, don't blow. It's not a fucking candle, Mary. Suck, don't blow. <laughs> I think the James Blunt would be proud, don't you? Credit where credit's due, though. My mother did write the last verse. <laughs> they say laughter's a good medicine cure, don't they? Yes. I don't laugh much myself, so I bought some of them there, ten of ladies. I'm sporting one now. It's not fucking funny. I don't know what those women are laughing at on the advert. I fucking hate adverts. Especially that one. What do you do in your kitchen? Fucking twat. I got the guy round to give me a quote. I'm not buying a new kitchen, but it's nice to have a man in the house. <laughs> And he says to me, Mary, what do you do in your kitchen? And I said to him, Steve, for that was his name. I said, Steve, I'll be honest with you. I mostly lie on the floor, clutching a bottle of whiskey, crying, eating cake and vomiting. Design away. <laughs> I've not heard it of yet. I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, you've been grand. I have been very disappointed that it's not been speed dating. So if there's anyone out there that would like to take me to third base tonight and home base every weekend, <laughs> do make yourself known. I'll be at the bar waiting. Good night. Mary Magdalene! We're going to have a 15-minute break now, so please...